G'day folks and welcome to episode 28 of Gourmet Shed and uh, this week what we're going to look at is uh, creating a uh, locomotive servicing cradle out of some foam rubber. Uh, this uh, is possibly something that could be used uh, it's for cleaning your car and uh, these are around and they're quite cheap and uh, readily available from automotive uh, parts places and uh, you know, you could easily cut one of these up, but unfortunately this one I have is about 230 mils long and uh, it's just not quite long enough for some of the bigger locos that I have. Uh, it's plenty actually for some of the smaller uh, tank locos, so that's not a problem. That could be used for small locos. Uh, however, I'm, I'm trying to create something that's about 300 mils long overall. So I've got this foam rubber that was um, taken out of a, a seat cushion or something. I don't know exactly where it came from now, but it was put aside and uh, one of those things I'll use that one day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to use it today. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, move out into the workshop and uh, we'll start cutting this thing up. And uh, that, that's the hard part with this stuff, is actually cutting it. Um, I mean, somebody out there obviously, obviously will have a whiz-bang method for doing it, but uh, I'm going to use whatever I've got and uh, it'll be a rough rough job I can assure you it will be a rough job cutting this uh, but at the same time I'll finish up with a loco servicing cradle so let's see how we go right the first thing we've got to do is, is square this thing up so um, I'm gonna make it uh, 300 long by about 120 wide so we'll just uh, we'll just mark that out and uh, and then we'll have to um, I'm using a texture here just to mark it out, and uh, that will um, be the very start of the project. So I'll, I'll get onto that. Right, so we've got it all marked out. So now it's just uh, a matter of uh, cutting this this shape out and determining how wide I want this thing. So probably I should, um, you know, because I've got to cut a groove in here to sit the the loco in. So. I should mark out that groove now, so I'll take some measurements and sort of uh, make an assessment of what we want to put in here. Okay, so I've, I've uh, come up with a width of 50 mil. I mean, that's uh, probably a little bit too wide, but what, what I can do is uh, cut some thin strips of foam rubber to uh, pack in beside locos if necessary. I'd rather have too much room instead of it not uh, instead of it being tight. So um, yeah, I think 50 mil will do. So, uh, as you can see, it's a bit of uh, trial and error here. Now, the next thing I have to decide upon is whether to just make this a trench along here or whether to actually uh, have an end on it, which I think probably would be more desirable. However, that does mean that then we've got to cut this middle section out, scoop it out in effect in some way, which means we're going to get quite a rough uh, effect on the bottom because it's going to be very difficult to cut that out. So, um, yeah... Uh, I think possibly just a straight trench is, is the easy way. Um, yeah, whichever way I go, it, it's not going to be easy to, to cut it out sort of accurately. So, yeah, we'll have a think about that and uh, see what I come up with. Okay, as you can see, I've decided to go with the difficult option, uh, putting some ends on it. I think that'll just hold it all together better. So, uh, now we're on to uh, cutting it out. And, uh, uh, I think possibly it would be easier to cut out the centre section here first uh, because I've got all this body of foam to sort of hold the thing steady while I do it. Uh, cutting this uh, outer part out will be, I suppose, the easiest part once the job's done in there. So uh, now we'll work out a method for cutting this out. Okay, what I'm going to try is this uh, little uh, knife with snap off blades and uh, I've set this down to 30 mils uh, length of blade here and what I intend to do is uh, hold the straight edge along the line um, and then run the blade along my line and just keep working it along until I feel like it's cut all the way down to the 30 mils uh, I don't know whether you can see that properly but that's that's the process uh, at this stage. Uh, pretty much suck it and see this sort of system and see how we go. There is some resistance there 
as I cut, but I feel like I'm getting through. Uh, there's the odd bit that seems to offer up some resistance, but if I just keep working away at it, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. The hard part will be doing the bottom, of course, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Now, I'm getting no resistance here now, and uh, it's pretty good, I think, actually. There's something there. So we'll see how that goes. I've cut the two long bits, but I'm just working down now on the end piece, and you just got to to go very carefully and sort of not go past the, the, the lines that you've uh, done on the long bits here uh, otherwise you're going to have it sort of spreading out you know you want to, you want to form a nice sort of cavity in there uh, and I seem to have this end done now it seems to be pretty good so we'll do the other end now I'm just having a look at my corners and just making sure that they're coming away clean I'm just peeling a bit of the Foam back here, that looks pretty good. That one's okay. This one just needs a little bit. So, so far so good. Now we've got to look at how do we how do we get this out. That's the tricky part. And I think it's probably just a matter of peeling it back and sort of working along with the blade. Because I can't think of any other way to do it. And uh, it will gradually come away. So it's a bit of a slow process and not necessarily uh, offering up uh, an even uh, base for the, the trench here, but then again, does that really matter? Um, I don't think it's not too bad actually. I don't know whether you can quite see that, but yeah, I'm just um, peeling, peeling this off as, as though you were uh, possibly skinning a fish or something same sort of method just a bit at a time and keeping the tension on the, on the part that we're removing pulling it back constantly scalping it in effect so we'll keep working away at that and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end okay here it is right she's a bit rough and ready down there but uh, I don't think that really matters um, the idea is that it holds the loco securely so maybe that's what we ought to do now is try a loco in there I'll go and grab one okay this is what we're gonna try in there one of my jubilees so we'll uh, just uh, slot it in there and that's fine you know you know if you want to hold it tight obviously you need some packing in there but that's I've designed it that way so that's okay uh, it's nice and secure in there and uh, yeah it's ideal so you know it can be nice and safe in there while you work on it and um, while you're taking out screws and things you can also just drop them in there so nothing's going to go anywhere that's the thing so obviously I'll have to make some um, uh, little skinny strips to fit in there to, to hold the loco secure but that's that's pretty easy so Okay, now I'll uh, I'll get to it and um, cut the outer part out, and uh, yeah, and then we'll have a look at it once I've done that. Right, I'm going to use a hacksaw blade to cut the outer part because I need the length to get through the the depth of the uh, the foam. So I'm just doing nice long even cuts so that's that part there now we'll do some more and then I'll get back to you You've just got to work the blade through and let it find its way through the foam you don't try and force it too much that's what I'm finding at the moment and it seems to be working okay And I've just got to take off one more side. I'm just feeding the blade down through the slot in my uh, workmate here. And here we are, folks. We're right near the end. Right. 
There we are. She's a bit rough. <laughs> but so what? Who cares? It'll work, I can tell you that. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll cut some um, some strips to, to fill in there, just out of what I've got left here, and uh, then we'll check it out with a loco in there again. Right, I've just cut a piece that's about uh, 25 mil thick, and uh, if I just whack that in there next to the loco, there you go. So we'll, we'll zoom in on that and have a, a better look at that in just a sec. So there we go folks, the Glyco is sitting nice and cosy in there. There's a bit of room at either end, you know, you can you can drop your screws or nuts and bolts or whatever you need to in there just to keep them from uh, rolling off the bench onto the floor. And uh, I think that's a nice secure little bed for the, uh, for the locomotive to sit in. And it's got good length, so um, you can fit just about anything in that one. And uh, excuse the roughness, but uh, I suppose this is a tool. It's not something to sit there and be adored. It's just a tool to make life a bit easier for us to service our locos. So there you go. There we have it. Fairly simple job if you've got the, uh, the foam rubber. But uh, a good result, I think. So there you go, folks. Uh, that's your lot for this week. Uh, a nice little rough and ready uh, loco servicing cradle and uh, I know you can go out and buy these things but uh, you know if you've got a bit of foam rubber hanging about why not use it you know just get a knife and uh, a hacksaw blade or whatever you you got uh, it doesn't have to be a thing of beauty it just has to work <laughs> so I'll see you next week cheers Gormo.